this is Shara. I'm a uh, delegation coordinator here at People to People Ambassador Programs, and I'm also your support coordinator for tuition uh, resources, and uh, I also host the Pay Your Way webinars. Today I am here to tell you about a great holiday time fundraising idea, and that would be to make cinnamon ornaments. They're great for this time of year, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. The items that you will need to have is a pan to be able to put your finished product on so it can dry and I'll tell you about how you can dry it can take some time uh, you'll need a rolling pin to roll it out just like cookies and uh, a bowl and a spatula or some uh, some type of utensil to stir everything up with you're going to be making it like cookie dough you'll need some dry measuring cups and measuring spoons you'll also need a wet measuring cup for the liquid. You'll need some cinnamon. You'll need about a cup of cinnamon for one batch. I also like to add a little cloves to mine, but you don't have to. So any kind of spices that are strong scent, and you only need a little tiny bit of this. Um, glue. I like to use, you know, school glue, Elmer's glue, or something like that. You can also use craft glue. This is this one here was pretty inexpensive. I think I paid 34 cents for a small bottle. You'll also want a variety of cookie cutters. So I like to use the fun um, imprints, but you can also use cookie cutters like this that are just basic. Something that you can decorate and then have some fun um, fall type of uh, cookie cutters here. And then you'll also need, if you're going to use hooks, you'll want to use, um, use these when they're still wet so you can get them into the uh, cookie. Or the or All right, so let's get started with mixing your ingredients. You want to start off with your cinnamon, and you only need one cup of cinnamon. This is going to be one of your main ingredients, of course. Seems like a lot of cinnamon, so you're going to want, especially if you're going to do a lot of these, you're going to want to get one of those oop, big ones, and it doesn't matter if it gets a little over, it's not going to hurt anything. So then you got your one cup of cinnamon. And... Then you'll also need three quarters of a cup of water, four tablespoons of your glue. So here's your tablespoon, and just go ahead and throw your glue in. Before that, of course, if you want your little extra, I like my cloves, I just do a quarter of a teaspoon, if that, and mix that in real good, just like you would any dry ingredient. It's already smelling wonderful. And we'll go ahead and get the glue put in. The, oh, you know what? Wrong size spoon. This can be messy, by the way, so don't worry about it. Now, the glue sticks in your thing, your uh, spoon, so you'll definitely want to just scrape it out. And a four ounce bottle of the glue is pretty close to being what you need for one batch and it's again it's okay if you get a little over it doesn't have to be perfect science like in baking I have a hard time measuring everything so I like to just throw ingredients together and I still have a little bit of the glue left in the bottle so not quite four ounces a little more a little less than four ounces will make one batch. Then, of course, your water. And it's good to mix the glue and the water together instead of trying to mix it first. So then you just kind of, just like with cookies, mix it all up. Okay, so you just keep mixing just like you would cookie dough until it's all wet. It'll still be kind of crumbly and all that, but that's when you get to get your hands dirty. So uh, it is always important to make sure that you take any rings or jewelry off if, you're, if you wear rings, because they will get messy, and cinnamon likes to stick. Of course, with the glue, it's definitely. So you notice that it is kind of crumbly and moist and all mixed together. So we're going to have some fun now and just ball it up knead it just like you would cookie dough. If it starts getting dry on you, you can always just add a tiny bit of water. 
I just I just usually just get my hands wet, and that does a great job. Now another really cool thing is is that if you really want to make it really fun, you can add instead of water, you can replace it with applesauce. Same amount of applesauce. Gets a little messy though, because you need to drain it and all that stuff by. So this is the least expensive and most uh, efficient way with the water. So once you have the uh, the dough set there, I don't use the whole thing of dough to start off with. I will just break off a small section of that and set the bowl aside. You want to sprinkle some cinnamon on your work surface. You want to make sure this is a clean and dry work surface. And this is where you get to have all the fun with the rolling pin. So while we're rolling out your dough, um, the rest of the dough that's in the bowl needs to be kept moist. So I just got a wet paper towel, or you can use a dish towel or something like that. And then you can set that aside. I'm going to go ahead and move that out of the way so that I have plenty of room on my work surface here. And I sprinkled some cinnamon on here, so now we can just roll this out. Now depending on your cookie cutter, you want to uh, make sure that you don't get it too thin, but it doesn't, you don't want it too thick either because then it will take forever to dry. So then you just take your cookie cutter. I sprinkle some cinnamon inside the cookie cutter so that it doesn't stick so bad. When you have an imprinted cookie cutter, you want to push down on it a lot. Then you just pull it out. And of course, just like cookies, you can keep rolling that dough out several times. Pull that up, and there you have your snowman. Okay, so now that we have the dough rolled out again, again, we'll just uh, put a little bit of... This one, I know from experience as a cookie cutter, likes to stick, so I put lots of cinnamon in there. It's not going to hurt it. And then just... Press it out. And then I'll grab another one. This is the same way. Another fun trick is to sprinkle like a pile and then just kind of push your, because a lot of times this one gets it on the side. So you just want to make sure that it's not. Now be careful. Make sure you warn your whole family that these are not edible. <laughs> I have actually had people that thought they were real cookies and then commenced to tell me, by the way, your cookies aren't very good. And that's because they've got glue in them. <laughs> so make sure you warn mom and dad and brother and sister that they can't eat them because they don't taste now, very good. I can just use my spatula to do this. I've got lots of experience, but you just kind of pull everything away. And like I said, sometimes you might need to use a butter knife or something. Um, a kitchen spatula is good to have, so you can lift them up, which I did not bring this time. So there's your present. And then what you'll do is you'll take, and I've got um, wax paper on here, but you don't have to use wax paper. If you're going to bake them to make sure that your drying them fast. If you want them dried fast, you can bake them on 200 degrees for about two or three hours because it's going to be a slow bake process. You don't want to cook them too fast or they will kind of get all icky. The other thing is, is that as they dry, they will curl. So you want to kind of flip them over every once in a while. Just check them and flip them over. You'll see darker areas. Once they're all, you pick them up and there's no softness to them, they're done and you can decorate them. All right, so we're gonna see how to add a hook to the back of the ornament without putting a hole in it. So you just take your ornament, you flip it over, then you're gonna take and get your fingers wet in some water, and you're just gonna take and get the back of the ornament nice and wet, and then take your hook and just kind of lightly press it down. You can jiggle it a little bit to get it down in there, and you don't want to push too hard with your finger because it will ruin the front of your ornament. Once you've got it down in there a little bit, and it bends a little bit there, push it down. You can see that there's a indention of the, of the hook. Just push it down in there. And then you can take that wet 
dough from the sides and push it over the top of the hook. It'll dry, the hook will dry inside of the hook, or um, the dough. And it didn't get, you want to get it kind of deep so that it gets a chance to get down in there and get covered. You might have to get your fingers wet a couple times to, to do that. But just a light touch, don't want to push too hard. And there, no more hook in the... Another good. way that you can hang your ornaments is by putting a hole into the ornament itself. Depending on how big of a hole you want to make it, you can use something like the back of a brush. I've also used um, straws as long as they're really flexible. And as you can see here, it pushed, you want to make sure it pushes all the way through. And then you can use ribbon, or here I've got a um, festive looking uh, pipe cleaner type of, uh, and you can just push that through. Now I wait until they're dry before I put the pipe cleaner in. But that's how you want, you want to make sure that you drill the hole before they dry. If you want them to dry quickly, you're not wanting to wait two or three days to be able to decorate them, you can put them in the oven. Um, if you're going to put them in the oven, you want to put them on a pan, make sure you don't have the wax paper on there, of course, and put it about 200 degrees, and that'll be for about two, three hours, depending again on how thick they are. You'll want to make sure that throughout the drying process that you're flipping them over occasionally uh, so that the back side, and that'll help them dry a little faster, whether it's in the oven or if you're just letting them dry on their own. And all you have to do is take some of your glue and I like to use like toothpicks and things like that for the small details. So I'm going to use the back of my brush instead of the actual brush. Just dip my glue in. Now you might want to use craft glue for this if you don't want it to show behind there because it might be white instead of clear. And I'm just going to go in between here and put the ribbon in and make that a pretty color with glitter. Okay, and usually what I'll do here with the, um, with the glue is I'll let it sit for a minute and let it dry and get sticky so that when I put my glitter on, it'll stick really well. Now I'm going to use green. I like to use the, the Christmas colors here. And this is just the dry glitter and it has a little shaker on there. So I will put like wax paper or something under here for right now. I'll just use the back of my sandpaper to kind of catch my excess glitter. And I like to put it on nice and thick, and then all you have to do, tap it off. Also, here's some fun glitter glue. That is always a, a really good product to use. Um, I also got all of this at a Dollar Tree store, so that it wasn't very expensive. Got all three of these for a dollar, a package of five, I think, for a dollar. So inexpensive You can stuff. get as creative or as simple as you want. You can leave them blank, plain so that they just look like cookies, or again, you can decorate them to make them pretty. And here's some samples of some finished ornaments that my cousins did last year. As you can see, they got really creative, some very simple, and then this one here has the hole in it, so I'm going to show you how easy it can be to do the pipe cleaner. Now the pipe cleaner, you can do a couple of different ways. You can just loop it in and have it hang. You can create a little bow tie by pushing the open ends and then just looping it around to make a collar for this one. And depending, of course, on the type of ornament, like here we've got the candy cane. So we just looped it through and twisted it. And this one here, we did similar to the reindeer, we just looped it around. So there's lots of different ways that you can hang your ornaments. So thank you so much for joining me today and learning about sentiment ornaments. And I hope that this becomes a successful fundraiser for you. And uh, enjoy the holiday.